Hello again. Sorry I'm late, Mr. Amnesty. Not late at all. Spiderhead is a contained story with a unique tonal approach to familiar sci-fi ideas. It's a tale of experimental, emotion-inducing drugs and the inmates who sign up to be pharmaceutical guinea pigs, and it has a tactile quality, at least at first. While it eventually loses itself down a disappointingly conventional path, it remains intriguing for long enough to be a worthwhile watch. Acknowledge. Acknowledge. Yeah, acknowledge. Let's do this. After a bizarre opening scene, we're introduced to the Spiderhead, a prison testing site on a lush, isolated island where Chris Hemsworth's charismatic tech leader, Steve Abnesti, runs novel drug trials with his diligent assistant, Mark. However, Spiderhead isn't your average incarceration facility. The prison's incarcerated bodies are at the mercy of an anonymous, unseen corporate board, who use them to test various mood-altering substances. To make matters murkier, the prison's day-to-day -day demeanors are mostly chipper. Jeff, played by Miles Teller, happily prepares hors d'oeuvres with Journey Smollett's Lizzie, whose flirtatious interactions imbue the film with a lively energy matched by its upbeat editing and music choices. They've been testing me up and down, a lot weirder stuff than usual. The experiments Jeff partakes in mostly concern a drug that makes him see beauty in ugly surroundings, followed by another that makes him more verbose so he can better describe what he sees. God, she's so beautiful. He's not entirely dissatisfied with his position given the traditional alternative. There's an almost tangible quality to the frame when it first introduces each drug, whether they induce laughter, fear, arousal, and so on. Thanks to how director Joseph Kaczynski and cinematographer Claudio Miranda captured the prisoner's points of view. Before we begin, I need your permission to administer it in 40. Close-ups of clouds and flowers are given a radiant, poetic quality when the inmates appreciate nature. Other prisoners take on a ravishing appearance in moments of mutual, but no doubt manipulated, attraction. Come on, guys. Words, words, words. Okay, yeah, she's starting to look pretty good. And mundane objects seem enormous and imposing when the inmates are made to fear them. There's an equally vivid quality to Jeff's fleeting flashbacks, snippets which reveal the incident that landed him in this predicament. These scenes take great advantage of Kaczynski's ability to translate momentum and adrenaline. However, the further it goes on, the less it relies on sensory flourishes to unpack its ethical dilemmas. They help establish the story's initial parameters, but beyond a point, they aren't used to actually tell it. While there's a wonderful tension, even and especially during scenes of stillness, as Steve's welcoming persona begins to reveal ugly ulterior motives, Spiderhead's quandaries are soon dramatized primarily as exchanges of dialogue and as battles of wits, rather than explorations of human behavior, as it brushes up against discomforting moral questions about the nature of choices within the confines of a capitalist society. Your presence in this facility, while technically a punishment, is a privilege. While the many twists and turns make for engaging viewing at first, they also get to a stage where the story becomes subsumed by explanation, in a manner that too easily resolves its burning questions. Eventually, revelations play more like flipped switches rather than gradual realizations, and emotional reckonings become external rather than reflective, all en route to an action-heavy final act that can't quite reconcile the story's final, ill-conceived tonal swing. Our work will save lives. Not just one life, many lives. The subjective approach in the first act makes for an enjoyable bait and switch, lulling you into a false sense of comfort before things begin flying off the rails. Teller and Smollett, charged with capturing lingering emotions and states of being slipping slowly out of their control, deliver live wire performances, while Hemsworth's personable tech mogul proves to be a chilling send up of modern Silicon Valley types. Kaczynski may not stick the landing with Spiderhead, but this year, with this and Top Gun Maverick, he's undoubtedly two for two when it comes to placing living, breathing characters in charged environments and forcing them to their limits. Time to worry about crossing lines was a lot of lines ago. An original sci-fi film about prisoners, experimental drugs, and the nature of consent, Joseph Kaczynski's Spiderhead begins as an engaging sensory experience led by Chris Hemsworth as a slimy tech mogul and Miles Teller as a willing inmate. Despite a few too many conventional turns, it remains a worthwhile watch. We're making the world a better place. What you want is redemption. And this is how you're gonna find it. For more reviews, check out what we thought of Lightyear and Top Gun Maverick. For everything else, stick with IGN. <laughs> Beautiful people get away with too much, and I say that having benefited myself from time to time. Yeah.